What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am coming at you with yet another affordable Amazon bodysuit shapewear dresses haul. <laughs> from the brand Pumi. If you guys remember, it wasn't too long ago I actually did an Amazon bodysuit haul. This time we're actually adding in some dresses, perfect timing because I don't know about you, we're finally getting into the 80 degree weather here. Let's hope it stays. So without further ado, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. If you like videos just like this, we do a lot of affordable Amazon hauls on this channel, loads of activewear and things like that. We also cover a lot of Instagram brands like Alpha Leaf, Buff Bunny, Gymshark, Lazuli Label, tons of trending brands, and we always love to take requests. So feel free to drop a comment with a brand you'd like to see next. A huge thank you to Pumi for sending these pieces out my way for review. The color palette's actually very similar to the last haul. They go for a lot of flesh tones, nudes. I noticed that's their thing. Like I said, very Skims-esque. Over here is where you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below for you to reference. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. Let's start off with the mock neck tank bodysuit. These are coming in 10 different colors. Here I have your traditional black and this really pretty coconut tan. It's very light beige, beautiful nude. When it comes to mock neck, <clears throat> When it comes to mock neck bodysuits, the first thing I think is semi-formal, all right? You can dress this up or dress this down. These are made out of 80% polyamide and 20% elastane. If you guys watch my channel, polyamide is so powdery soft. This material is by far my favorite when it comes to all day comfort. Do keep in mind all of their bodysuits, I'm talking every single one, has a double lining. So even though there's no built-in bra, it is still double lined. It's not just a one layer where it's super thin. I'm not wearing a bra right now, for example. You can see. I do feel like if you're somebody like me, who naturally gravitates towards low support sports bras and things like that, you can get away with not wearing anything underneath. If you're somebody who feels a little insecure about that, depends on the day, depends on the weather, then I would definitely suggest wearing nip pads under here. Or if you have a seamless bralette, especially with these mock necks because it's full coverage, you can get away with a beautiful seamless bra underneath. These bodysuits have a very small double clasp on the end. You don't feel them, nothing's riding up, nothing's uncomfortable. I do absolutely wear underwear still with these body suits. This does help any potential riding up. This will definitely help you out if you wear underwear. Now, even though I appreciate the minimal buttons, it's great to not have big chunks of metal in certain places, you feel me? But what comes with minimal buttons, tiny baby struggle of actually getting them to unsnap. This could prove to be a little bit problematic if you're trying to go to the bathroom. Like I said, true size small, perfectly true to size. If you're in between, only then would I suggest sizing up rather than down, only to avoid potential cinching right in the groin area. Just like the mock neck bodysuits you just saw, same exact material, everything is identical except for the style. Now we're introducing a short sleeve V-neck. These will be coming in nine different colors. I have two different tans here, a lighter and a darker. I actually noticed that they do put a pop of color in their collections. They love that hot pink. Everything still fits the same. They're very consistent with their pieces in terms of material, sizing, fit, all of that. The big takeaway from these is the wide neckline. Even on the hanger, you can see like it is wide. When you actually wear these and clasp the bottoms, it stretches out and creates a really nice, almost deep plunge. It is a very sexy V-neck. Quite a deviation from the mock neck you just saw. I feel like if you want to mix it up, get a little sexy with this, you can. The sleeves are very comfortable too. I always want to touch base whenever there's short sleeves involved, especially if you're like me. I have kind of wide arms. I feel like my arms get pinched a lot in short sleeves, like nine out of 10 times when it's tight fit. These were pretty good though. They did not cinch in, they were not uncomfortable. They actually put the seams on the inside so it lays seamlessly across the body. Even though this is technically not seamless, it really does appear seamless as a fit when you're wearing it. So even though the seams are placed on the inside, you don't feel them. After a long day of wearing, you're not seeing any dig. There's no irritation. I've worn these bodysuits all day and I feel no irritation. Just like the mock necks, I would say these are still very true to size. If you're in between, I would personally suggest sizing up. Again, it is a bodysuit and it's riding right in between your legs. So you're gonna want this area to be comfortable for all day wear. So with that being said, sizing up would avoid any potential dig. Now that's if you're in between. So for the first time, I actually have one of their shapewear pieces. This is in a very pretty muted lavender. Now, even though I'm not one to wear shapewear often, I did still wanna review it 
for you guys in case you were interested. And I know everybody's different. I know we got a lot of viewers here with different styles and different preferences. So I wanna always try to cover a lot for everybody. This is coming in seven unique colors. We're looking at 80% nylon and 20% spandex. So obviously this is a little bit thicker than the bodysuits. You can actually feel this dense material. Let's start from the top and work our way down. So you do have adjustable straps. You have little kangaroo pouches right here for your boobies to fill in. Right in the middle of the chest is a stretchy, almost scrunch for your titties. It's a titty scrunch. Beautiful seamless lay down the tummy and down the back. My only thing is the booty is completely sheer. When holding it, you wouldn't think anything of it. When actually putting it on, you can see right through it, so do keep that in mind. Don't wear this as a bodysuit out in public. Please don't do that. I would look at the backside more as pantyhose. Okay, even though there's technically a raised contour down the glutes right in the middle, it doesn't actually work as anything like a scrunch or anything, so don't get it twisted. Really comfortable around the thighs. There was no cinching. It wasn't too tight. I absolutely get the dreaded CT in it. There's no denying it, but it's not a big deal because this is not a bodysuit I'm gonna wear just as is, but you know, it's something worth noting because you get it in, then you put it on, you're like, whoa, wasn't expecting to see that. But I also think it's really good in case you're wearing something flowy, where you don't wanna actually wear a bra or underwear or anything that's gonna roll, snap, move around. So it's definitely worth considering if you're somebody who likes to wear these kinds of things under dresses. Sticking with my true size small is perfect. Again, if you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing up. Are you guys ready to see some cute maxi dresses? Here I have a really pretty tan khaki dress. This is a long sleeve maxi dress, square neckline, super pretty. Very awkward to wear a bra underneath. If you're considering that, I wouldn't. <laughs> and of course, you know your girl had to go with staple black, all right? Every girl needs a little black dress. I mean, this isn't very little because it's long as heck. This is a maxi dress as well. This is a spaghetti strap style, adjustable. This is more of your traditional straight across neckline. Both of these maxi dresses are ribbed. If you look closely, you can see a pretty decent ribbing going throughout the entire piece. This is a completely different material from the body suits. These are 95% rayon and 5% spandex. When I put these on at first, I was like, oh God, I'm gonna be swimming in this. I'm only five foot three, like me and maxi dresses, we don't always hit it off. He's actually just made it <laughs> on me. So if you're anything less than five three, right? Good luck. Given this type of material and the ribbing, this is very cellulite friendly. These were pretty true to size on me. I'm happy with my size small. If you're in between with the dresses though, that's when I would suggest sizing down. I feel like there's a lot of room to play. Out of these two dresses, I do feel like the black is slightly snugger. Not to a degree of discomfort, not to a degree of being like, ugh. Don't get it twisted, I can still move around, move my legs, no problem. There's still a really nice amount of stretch in these. But if I'm comparing the two side by side, there's a lot more stretch in the tan color. Out of the two, which one do I like more? Hmm. If I were to go for more of a practical look, like what will I actually use more? It would be this dress. It would be the long black spaghetti strap. This I could utilize all summer long, especially with a tan, the beach, the boardwalk, grabbing drinks on the boardwalk. You know I like to do that. Give me a mojito, girl. This would be the perfect dress for that. Even a beach cover up. You know, you could do a lot with this dress. Go out to dinner, have some oysters on the half shell. I mean, I guess you could say there's more beauty in the simplicity, right? This dress you could do a lot more with. Also, I wanted to mention, since my last Pumi video a month ago, I've obviously had some time to feel around these pieces. I've worn them out and about. I've washed them. They're all holding up so well. Now do keep in mind, given this really delicate, buttery soft material, I do wash them like activewear. I do feel like if you wash them incorrectly, they have potential of pilling. So with that being said, I wash them in cold water. I let them air dry. That's it. Nice and simple. Don't ruin your beautiful delicate pieces. All right guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video.